Hello everybody, today we're going to be speaking about the top 12 doubled dies on Walking Liberty Half Dollars. These are rare varieties where you want to look closely to see if you've got something that's going to take your coin from just a regular old coin to something with a special attribute that a series of collectors are going to pay more for and view as rare. So it's a special thing to know about. Um, and these are going to be both double die obverses and double die reverses. But let's get right into the presentation. I've prepared full list of anything that would be attributable at either PCGS or NGC. So it took a while to put together, but let's get right into it. So before we get into these top 12 Walking Liberty double dies, I just want to make sure that we understand that these coins are not double struck. I think it's an easy trap to fall into, but what happened was when the hubbing process was occurring that creates the dies that then strike the coins, that's where the doubling was. So the dies that are striking the coins will leave this doubled impression on each of the ones that they strike. So more on that later, but this is the rarest coin. It also happens to be um, the first because we're going to go in chronological order just because it's a lot easier for you to kind of come back to this and use this as a resource if it's done that way. But this sold for $15,000. Um, it's a double die obverse that just went unnoticed, but it's extremely clear and, you know, makes you wonder if more are out there. Um, in the date, it's massive, split serifs, you know, shelving, everything. Same thing in the trust. The T especially is just so, so far off of the normal one, but that's a great variety to look for. It has sort of a cousin that's a little bit smaller where it's a little bit of splitting and, and shelving in the three. Um, same thing in the In God We Trust, some notching in the bottom left corner of the N and the E. So uh, this is a good coin. Uh, values about AU55, 125, Mint State 63, 250, Mint State 65, 350. I'm not going to talk too much about the values um, because especially with a rising market right now, uh, some of these values can get outdated, but rest assured all of them except for probably three that we'll talk about are worth more than their normal counterparts, and I'll explain why uh, normally all of these are worth more than the normal ones. But here's a nice notch double die obverse again. You can find it in the In God We Trust, uh, notching in the lower uh, left part of the E and the R, um, but the same thing up in the tops of the I and the N and the E and the W, so especially on the left side there, just some really nice clear spread um, that you can find in many different conditions, but some significant premium there attached. Um, 1939D, probably a little less in terms of the massive premiums, but it's certainly going to be probably 20, 30 percent more expensive um, and probably a little bit more than that. You know, um, I, I think that some of these values I'm quoting are even a little bit underpriced, but you can see the notching again in, in God We Trust, uh, lower part of the N notching in the W and the E, same thing with some splits in the T and the R, and the U and the S, so all through that lettering, really nice. And then the 1942 has this interesting coin, which probably represents like a 30% premium, not huge, but just a super strongly doubled neck. Um, that's really the diagnostic point. You want to zoom in on that area. And I mean, here, you know, it's like the neck and chin is just completely doubled. Um, no other way to explain it. 1942. Also, if you flip it over to the back, this is one of the more significant varieties that people do pay high premiums for. Mint State 65 is a $500 coin, um, but uh, hard, large notching in the L's, same thing in the A and the R uh, with a little bit of shelving as well. Um, so that's a nice coin to look for. 1942S. This one, there's not a ton of price history, but I tried to estimate it a little bit higher than obviously the ones that are without it. Um, and, you know, some of the sort of valuation guides suggested that it would be a good bit more, but I just felt like A55, 55 bucks, Mint Stay 65, 300 is right. You can see the doubling. Uh, on the hem and then as well as like a doubled breast plate on the left side. Then after that we'll talk about 1943. Um, these are being removed as something that gets attributed just because they're thought to be the result of working hub doubling. So 
the uh, the coins are almost all going to have this type of doubling, especially like 1943D, 1943S. You know, it's very similar. If you look the difference here, it's almost the same uh, in terms of how the doubling manifests between these different mint marks. And that is a classic example of where, you know, all of these coins are going to be produced from the same uh, original hub so there's not too much more value there and it's not something to focus on this is a nice variety um, the double die obverse uh, again in the breastplate you can see a little bit of notching uh, on the right as well as sort of this extra sort of part of her hem of her dress uh, has some nice upside especially in mint state 65 and then lastly we've got the double die reverse this is a really significant error or variety i should say um, it's going to be the second most sought after behind the major 1936 ddo but this one clear notching all in the e pluribus unum huge separation large differences there um, clear splits all through the lettering then in the leaves so this is a great find 200 bucks in au55 but really jumps high 800 and 2000 in the lower to mid mint state so that's a great coin to focus on wrap things up with today and I'm going to do one on the mint marks and then do a large recap, also getting into some of the mint errors. But great series to talk about. Thanks for sticking with me. And I'll see you on some of my other similar videos in the future. Thanks for watching the video. I'd encourage you to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to stay updated. I've also got Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, so you can follow me there. Um, TreasureTownYT.com is the main channel website. Definitely give that a visit. I've got a lot of information about me up there and the channel. Uh, CoinGrabBag.com as well currently redirects there, but it's some good opportunities for very fair grab bags, both made by me and other sellers. A lot of different options, so that's a good way to support. Um, there's also TreasureTownCoins.com. In the future, my coin dealing uh, operation will be done out of that website. Uh, CoinMeltPrice.com for updates on the melt prices of your coins, both U.S. and world. World, a lot of resources in that website and then coinsmetalscards.com being developed right now as a marketplace and news source for coins metals cards and collectibles in general so i'll see you on my future videos looking forward to seeing you there and hope you have a good day